Hi, I'm Gedmus and welcome to my channel. Take a quick look at the Corget Chronograph watch model number 2060A. I had pretty high expectations for this watch. The decent specifications and feel style dial looked rather good in the pictures. The price of 50 US dollars seems to be fair. The quartz chronograph watch with day date functions, the movement inside is a Myota 0S00. It's a mid sized watch, it is 41 mm in diameter, yet the lock to lock distance is 50.5 mm, so it could be too large for a smaller wrist. The lug width is 20 mm. The thickness of the case is 11 mm, not including the domed crystal, and 13 mm if included. Full stainless steel case, domed mineral crystal, leather band. Check some daily shots. The dark green color fill dial with massive sword shaped hands looks rather interesting. The dial is extremely busy, not a big surprise for a chronograph watch. There are three sub dials, the small second sub dial at 6 o'clock, chronograph minute counter at 12 o'clock and the chronograph hour counter sub dial at 9 o'clock positions. Also there is a day date window at 3 o'clock position and the brand name is printed above it. The white Arabic hour numerals are average in size. The scale on the outer edge of the dial is graded even to 0.2 sec steps. That is a redundant thing, because the big chronograph hand makes only one step per second. The main sword style hands are rather wide and large. The time is easily readable, but the hands block the day-date window occasionally. Not a big problem here. Also, when the chronograph is running and the hands are blocking the chronograph subdials, you can see them. The finish level of the dial and hands is decent. All numerals and scales are printed accurately. The dial is finished nicely. Take a look at the big chronograph second. It isn't aligned well, but I'll talk about this in the chronograph section. There are variations with green, blue, coffee and black dials, as well as with a black or bronze-like case coating. The case looks rather decent. The case itself is 41 mm in diameter, but the lugs are quite long. The lug to lug distance is 50.5 mm, so the watch would probably fit a larger wrist a little better. It has a brushed finish all throughout. The edges are processed well. The crown is average size, it isn't signed. The buttons look a bit tall, the shorter ones would fit better here in my opinion. Another thing, the buttons and crown stand out as they have a polished finish while the case is brushed. And we have a screw down back cover, it's totally clean. Obviously the Corget saved money here. The brand name, model number, water resistant level should be engraved on the solid stainless steel back cover. The watch would look a bit more solid, in my opinion. We have a big chronograph second hand in the center, minute counter subdial at 12 and hour counter subdial at 9 o'clock positions. The max chronograph duration is 12 hours. That's good, as the usual time duration is up to 1 hour on the other chronographs. The controls are basic. The upper button starts, stops and resumes the time. The lower button resets the time. The split time action is not supported. But here the good things end. As I've mentioned, the scale on the outer of the dial is graded every 2.0 seconds. But the chronograph seconds hand makes only one step per second. Another unpleasant flaw is that the second hand is misaligned. It is positioned at about 0.5 second position, not at the 0 nor at the 1 second position and the chronograph second hand has some free play. I hope you can see it. The hand moves a bit back and forth when turning the watch left or right. 
the movement needs a calibration of the chronograph second hand, yet the step is 1 second, so 0.5 second misalignment cannot be fixed. In order to calibrate the chronograph hands, the crown should be pulled out to the second position. The upper button advances the second hand together with the minute hand. Even more, the chronograph minute hand is also misaligned. I calibrated it to zero position, but after reset it returns to 59 minute position instead of zero. So the hands of the chronograph are not aligned correctly and the second hand has some back and forth play. Even much cheaper chronographs like from the brand Skmi don't have issues like this. Maybe I had bad luck this time, but the quality control shouldn't pass a unit like this. Let's take a closer look at the movement itself. Check more specs in the list. The timekeeping accuracy is rather good, being plus 5 seconds per month. Can't say much about the reliability of this movement. Pull out the crown to the first position to adjust the weekday and day. And pull out the crown to the second position to change the time. The watch uses a domed mineral crystal. It's scratch resistant to some extent. Would be nice to have a sapphire here, but not this time, not for this price. It's rather strange that the watch with the screw down back cover is declared only 30 meter water resistant. I was expecting at least 15 meter water resistant level for a field style watch. Once again, the Corget took the easiest route by putting on a regular unsigned band. You can find a band like this on many other Chinese watches. I'm not sure if it's genuine or artificial leather, as the band isn't signed or marked in any way. Still, I guess it's a fake one. Anyway, it feels and looks okay on the wrist. It's mediocre in the terms of quality. It fits 17 to 21 cm size wrist. The lug width is 20 mm, so it won't be a problem to find a replacement band if needed. It looks rather good on NATO straps. The main and subdial hands are luminous, but the hour numbers aren't. Well, the luminous small hands make it more difficult to read the main hands. The luminous hour marks would make much more sense here. It lasts about 10 minutes. My expectations were pretty high for this watch, yet there are too many smaller or bigger issues and flaws. Let's begin from the pros. Interesting and good looking field style watch. Green dial, massive sword chip hands, easily readable time. Well finished stainless steel case, decent materials and the movement for the price. It uses a Miyota 0S00 quartz movement. It isn't a bad one, but in my opinion it would be more appropriate to use Seiko VK63 instead, as the price of both are very close. The biggest flaw is that the big chronograph second and minute hands aren't aligned properly. Even worse, the second hand has back and forth play. Only daily waterproof. Would expect at least 50 meter water resistance level here. The back cover is blank, it doesn't have any branding or other info like movement, model number or water resistance level. The buttons seem to be a bit too tall for the case size. The basic artificial leather band is not signed, only the hands are luminous. The hour marks aren't loomed. The most disappointing is the quality control issues. It's a pity, as by putting a little more effort into details and completeness, even with a higher prime cost, it would be a really good wedge. Thanks for watching. If you like this review, please hit the like and subscribe for more videos. Be safe and see you next time. Bye bye.